What it do, flight team? We got unexplainable sightings caught on tape. I feel like an I spy moment is coming all along. You remember them old behind books all the time when we see on the damn bookshelves, yo? My mind shop again. Number five, Nightcrawler. No, this isn't the Nightcrawler you're thinking of. This one's a little odd. It looks like a pair of white pants floating around that's about four feet tall. The footage you're looking at was captured by a random person's security camera. Apparently, the person heard dogs barking and weird noises outside and thought it might have been a robber or something to that effect. So, he what? set up a camera and saw this on it the next day. Unfortunately, the footage was captured off a camcorder that was recording the security camera's screen. Wow. According to Native American legends, it arrived before the first humans in the forests of California did. Its first sighting on video was in Fresno, California in 2011, and the second was at Yosemite National Park. The only possible explanation I could find online for this would be that it's some undiscovered species, or maybe some type of alien. Until we find more of these things, or capture one, we'll never know exactly what it is. True. Number 4. Garden City Ghost Car During this clip, you have a police officer from Garden City chasing someone down a dark road. In the beginning of the video, the car tricks the officer into thinking he's about to pull over, but pulls a U-turn, and then bolts at a ridiculous speed. Oh! Later on, the car starts to swerve left and right all over the road again for some odd reason, but he's not quite losing control. He could be drunk, but I don't know. A little while through he's the clip, the man driver, drives right? off into some bushes under a sign, and then gets back on track. And then after that, the car drives straight, and then vanishes away through the fence after the cops hit a dead-end road. Apparently, the explanation for this was that the car drove under the fence, but if you look at the video, the fence does not look bent or damaged at all. I mean, it's not even shaking. What the hell? Number 3. Civil War Ghost When I was originally watching this, everything seemed normal. Oh, just a group of people exploring an abandoned building. Not too out of the ordinary. Then, a little while into the clip, you can hear something. Then, not too long after that, you can hear something again. But this time it's much more pronounced, and it sounds much scarier. The people in the clip don't think much of it and soldier on. Then, the cameraman walking right into a doorway to find this. Whoa. I'm sure you know what that looks like. Pretty creepy stuff. Oh, snap. Apparently the clip was recorded in an old abandoned Civil War building and was heavily bombarded with cannon fire. Maybe she died years and years ago. We'll never know. What would you do if you seen that? Number two, Hampton Court Ghost. This footage was captured on a CCTV camera. Apparently, this shows the apparition of what people called Skeletor at Hampton Court. At the time this happened, staff at the palace heard the fire alarms go off. People rushed the door afterwards but saw nothing but the doors closed. Mm. Also, on other CCTV cameras right before this happened, there was nobody actually seen heading towards that area. This happened three days in a row. Well, in a on costume. the first day, the door seen in the footage slammed open, but there was no ghostly figure seen on footage. The second day, the door slammed open again, but the figure seen here came and closed them. Then, on the third day, the doors opened like the other days, but just like the first, there was no ghost. The only witness to this ghost was a random visitor who thought that they saw a ghostly figure on the second day and wrote about it in the visitor book. Wow. Sure, it could be somebody in a costume or something like That's that. That's what I was about to but say! But they didn't explain how they opened the door by themselves three days in a row. Also, I've read online that these particular doors weigh at least a couple hundred pounds and are bolted shut at all times. There's no way the wind could open them. Also, Hampton Court has a reputation for being quite haunted. Maybe it was Henry VIII, or maybe it was his wives. Oh, Unless man, Mr. Skeletor would. pops up again, I don't think we'll ever find out. Number 1. La Fortovo Tunnel Now, I've just watched this video a million times, and honestly, when you first look at it, everything looks very creepy because there are so many crashes all in the same manner on what looks like the same area of this tunnel. But the thing that catches everyone by surprise with this video is not the crashes with the cars. It's the supposed second truck right here that apparently just shows up. But if you look at other parts of this video or other videos of driving through the La Fortovo tunnel on YouTube, it's easy to see that the part they crashed at is where the wall between northbound and southbound lanes are. And there's what looks like an access tunnel in those parts. 
There's seven lanes in this tunnel. That's all and three GTA. Three of them are on this side. The part where they crashed is right beside the entrances to the maintenance rooms also. Another explanation for this would be that the truck on the right side was trying to overtake the truck on the left while staying in the inside lane and ended up hitting the stairs heading to the maintenance wow. rooms. Wow. Oh, and you can't see the stairs in this clip. One more thing to note is that this tunnel runs under the Yaza River. Water leaks into this tunnel and it's the third longest in all of Europe. It's two miles long. So why don't we add things up here? Two miles of tunnels, in the middle of Russian winter, and water leaks coming from the river. I can't say for sure why all this happened because I've never been to Russia or this tunnel, but I'll let you decide what to believe. Anything might shock you in this one. In my opinion, man, that Hampton Court, we're going all the way back to that. I think it was somebody in the costume and he just had the keys to the door and he was probably trolling everybody, bro. And he had to know that it had to be a camera because he came back three days, not just one. And it was so crazy how people at that time still just couldn't figure it out. Like some people really like believe heavily in some things that shouldn't be believable.